I mean, we spent a lot of time trying to get information from the FBI. We requested information. And look, if there's an innocent explanation to all of this, I mean, why not just say it? But we went to the FBI. Um, they would not um, respond, really. And then we filed a Freedom of Information request with them, um, and they ignored it. They didn't even respond to us. So we were trying to get answers. The pilot said he was trying to get answers. Nobody's gotten answers. Big boys Big neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. We're going to bring our friend back into the neighborhood from TMZ, Harvey Levin in the neighborhood. Welcome back, Harvey. Woo. Hey, big boy, it's good to be back. Man, it is a pleasure to have you back, bro. And we got to get right into the next TMZ Investigates. The TMZ Investigates, we think we know these stories. And then you you guys are doing Investigate that opens up a whole different angle of what we already thought we knew. Michael Jackson, we thought mm -hmm. we knew. Yeah. You guys went real deep inside of that as well. But now 9-11, the fifth plane. Please yeah. explain what that is. So um, on September 11th, 2001, uh, there was a, a 767. It was United Flight 23 that was supposed to go from JFK to LAX. It was supposed to take off at nine in the morning. We have interviewed members of the, fl of the uh, flight crew, three flight attendants, the pilot, the United Dispatcher, many others. And something alarming happened on this airplane mm -hmm. um and it was alarming enough big boy that the night of 9 11 the fbi beelined it for the hotel where the flight attendants were staying interviewed each one individually and even took them to a lineup at the port authority um to see if they could identify in particular four passengers who were sitting in first class mm -hmm. and these are passengers who raised suspicions, raised eyebrows before the planes hit the World Trade Center, before anybody knew that there were hijackings. And a lot happened on that airplane, which we'll get into. But that plane would have been in the air. The pilot told us that he, he ran that route regularly, that normally there'd be one or two planes ahead of him on the taxiway, get ready for takeoff. For some reason, that day there were 10 planes ahead of him. So when they were in line, for takeoff, um, the control tower called all the pilots and said, Kennedy is closed. We are evacuating the airport. You're on your own. Those were the words. And they're, they're, all the pilots had to find their way back to their gates because the, the control tower was evacuating. So they mm -hmm. go back to the gate and um, they evacuate the plane. Nobody is on this airplane. And they lock the door. 20 minutes later, people on the ground look up into that plane and they see two uniformed people running in the cabin, running. And it, uh, authorities were concerned enough that they show up, open the door of the plane, and there's a hatch yes. that goes from the belly of the plane into the passenger cabin. That hatch, the hatches were open. And they were never open. In fact, the FBI was grilling the flight attendants. How did these hatches open? And they had no idea. They weren't open when they left. So the pilot says, here's what I believe happened. Um, the pilot was told by the chief pilot of United that they found box cutters yeah. in the 767 directly next to his. And there was only one digit off on the tail number. And that plane wasn't scheduled to take off then. They believe somebody on the ground made a mistake and put the box cutters in the wrong plane. And that when they evacuated the plane, those people running in uniform may have been people actually trying to remove weapons to, to get rid of incriminating oh, evidence. And the pilot couldn't think of any other reason for it. But the FBI was so concerned about this that they did all those things. And everybody on that flight crew um, based on a lot of things I haven't yet told you about that happened on the plane, they believe they were the fifth plane. Oh, man. Harvey, what made TMZ start off the investigation for the fifth plane for Flight 23? Well, <laughs> that goes back before TMZ even started, mm -hmm. big boy. Um, a couple of years after 9-11, I, I, I should say, I had a really good friend in college at UCSB. Um, who became a United flight attendant. A couple of years after 9-11, I had dinner with her. 
And she told me this story. Oh my God. And I was stunned. She was a, she was a flight attendant on United 23. And she told me the story and I, I couldn't believe it, but there was nothing I could do with it at the time. And we had dinner seven months ago. And I said, Barb, do you remember this story? And she said, it scoffed at me. And she said, what do you mean remember it? She said, it literally has defined my life since. As she never flew again professionally a day oh in her life after God. she was so traumatized. And so I thought, now I can do something with it. So for six months, we've been investigating this. And we've been talking to lots and lots of people, doing lots of interviews. And the story Barb told me a couple of years after almost perfectly aligned with what everybody told me uh, and told us um, in doing this documentary. Hey, Harvey, your friend Barb, um, she was on that flight 23 that, flight, that day. That flight, that flight that day was supposed to take off. She told me this story um, a couple of years after 9-11. Hey, Harvey, had you heard any, I guess nothing prior to that, after you had a chance to talk to your friend Barb years ago, had you heard anything about Flight 23 and the possible possibility of a fifth flight? No. Oh, and, my God. Uh, and, and there is, uh, it's funny because there's one outlet that wrote something about it recently. Um, but that aside, the 9-11 Commission never mentioned Flight 23 in its report. And I want to say something about that because, um, you know, people are talking about our documentary now. And there are some people saying, well, the 9-11 Commission dropped the ball. I don't think they dropped the ball. The 9-11 Commission had limited money and limited time to investigate. Mm. And their job was to look at the four planes that were turned into weapons of mass destruction and figure out what happened, who did it, and how to prevent it. Um, but the, at the end, before they were shut down, they said Congress needs to further investigate. And I spoke with a 9-11 commissioner. In fact, the chairman of the commission told me that he was very critical of Congress for not picking up that ball and carrying it forward because the whole story apparently has not been told. Now, I cannot wait to watch this tonight because even just the write up that I got and everything that you shared with us. And I know that there's way more when I got to the part oh, yeah. just about the box cutters, the the plane, the tail number being off by one things being open, seeing people run around like that. There is no other explanation than the possible, not even, well, I, I, I guess legally, I got to say the possibility of, <laughs> of a fifth plane. Like that right there already sound like destruction. Well, I, I got to tell you, too. I mean, we spent a lot of time trying to get information from the FBI. We requested information. And look, if there's an innocent explanation to all of this, I, I mean, why not just say it? But we went to the FBI. Um, they would not um, respond, really. And then we filed a Freedom of Information request with them, um, and they ignored it. They didn't even respond to us. So we were trying to get answers. The pilot said he was trying to get answers. Nobody's gotten answers. You know, who were these people on the plane? Why was the FBI so concerned based on what they saw that they brought mm. the flight to this secret lineup at the Port Authority? Um they're just not answering that. At least they haven't yet. And the passengers that were on the plane, they, you know, they never got in touch with them or just in the night gone. Big boy, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I would think that they didn't or they weren't sure because why why would they have the flight attendants go for a lineup if they knew who they were in the first place? So I don't know. Mm. I mean, we've been asking the FBI this. You know, and like the pilot told us on camera, he said, look, if there's an innocent explanation, they should just say it and be done with it. But if there's not, there might be reasons they don't want to say it. I mean, we have very complicated relationships with certain countries mm -hmm. and, you know, it might involve that. We just don't know. And with the was there anyone that was afraid to talk to TMZ for the investigates? I know you say you got you got the pilot. You got flight attendants like it seemed like everyone kind of wanted to share their story. A lot of them did. A lot of them did. The pilot really did. Uh, some of the flight attendants did. Um, they they wanted to tell this story because they feel like it's an important story to tell. And they wanted to tell the story they told me for a long, long time. Um, 
But, you know, again, we spent a lot of time on this. And, and you know, you will hear from the people who were on that plane, working that plane. You'll hear what they say they observed. You can cross-check one with the other because you hear their stories to see that they align. You'll hear the pilot. You'll hear the United Dispatcher. Oh my you'll hear 9-11 Commissioner. There are a lot of people we have in this. But it's a, a pretty gripping story. All new special TMZ investigates 9-11, the fifth plane. Make sure you guys check that out tonight. I know that I'm going to check that mm-hmm. out on Fox. And I'm pretty sure that we get a chance to see it even more than God willing. Are, are we streaming? Is it always going to be available on TMZ site? Like, this is one it'll, for the world to see. It'll stream on Hulu uh, this week, but it's on Fox tonight at 9 p.m. Fox tonight at 9 p.m. All new special TMZ investigates 9-11, the fifth plane. Mm-hmm. Harvey, while I have you here, is um, Giselle Bunchin? is she with the, uh, the jujitsu trainer or is she with this billionaire guy? Investigate. I, I, don't, I don't think she's with the billionaire guy, but as for the jujitsu instructor... I mean, it's one thing to go to Costa Rica once to train the kids, and it's another thing to go a second time, but he's gone at least a third time for weeks at a time with her. So unless these kids are black belts, something's Mm. up. There it is. Yeah. (laughs) And then my thing is this too, Harvey. I'm like, man, you could get get so upset and be outraged, but what happens when your girl, your wife, whatever it is, is dating a jujitsu instructor? Like, I can curse from a distance. But I'm not going to go up and try to hit anyone. Yeah. Investigate that. <laughs> okay, it's big boy. I'll yeah, that, that's your next investigation, man. I know I'm not in the producer's chair, and I know that you're going to do what you want to do. But there's different kind of investigations that I want you guys to do over there at TMZ as well. Because once you guys investigate, y'all don't waste your time. Mm-mm. It becomes mm-hmm. true. All righty? Yes, sir. Yes, Will sir. Smith, Chris Rock. What's the inside? I know you know. <laughs> Well, I mean, the insight is they don't like each other. Okay, fact, there it is. Another exclusive. <laughs> Another exclusive. Did you watch the Chris oh, and, Rock and, special? And and, and 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 by the way, they didn't like each other for years. Mm. This was oh. boil. This, this was simmering to a boil. Okay. Personally, I want to know, is Hailey Bieber like single white female in Selena Gomez? Because I'm team Selena. There it is. Team uh, Selena. I, I, can I tell you, I, I'm having such trouble with this story. I know my staff loves the story. <laughs> I'm, I'm, guys, 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 I'm too old. I'm just hilarious. <laughs> All righty. There it is. Right. Tiger Woods, bro. Does that lady deserve $30 million for being a girlfriend and getting out the house? Investigate. I mean, look, I don't know what deal they struck. Doesn't it seem odd to you that somebody would say, well, if we break up, you can live in my house for five years after we break up and I'll. It, it seems weird, doesn't it? Yes, it does, bro. And I was yeah. like, thirty million as a girlfriend? Hey, that's another TMZ, but this got to be TMZ investigate Tiger and Caucasian women. Can you do that <laughs> and, and get? I'm not. Go- I'm not going near that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? The nine eleven Michael. Oh, those are probably oh, much easier. Those, those are probably much easier <laughs> than yeah. That's a whole different <laughs> workload with Tiger and the white women. So yeah. Well, thank you. All righty. Don't forget okay, you're tonight. Ma- you're ma- Don't forget tonight, TMZ investigates 9-11, the fifth plane, tonight on Fox, man. Then it'll get a chance to check it out on Hulu as well. So tune in like we're all going to tune in. And once again, Harvey Levin, thank you for always being in the neighborhood and, and sharing your stories with us. We appreciate you. I love being in the neighborhood, big boy. There it is right there, man. Harvey Levin in the neighborhood, big boy's neighborhood. 